Deadly weapon? Vodka. Victim? An infant. The baby arrives at the hospital drunk. Drunk. Poisoned to death with vodka. Why? We believe because daddy mixes her formula with vodka. Uh, the family is now saying it was all an accident. I say, Daddy, you can accidentally go straight to hell stopping by the electric chair en route. We are taking your calls. Dave Mack joining me, Clear Channel, WAAX. What happened, Dave? You know, Nancy, I, a four-month-old will drink anything you put in their bottle, and this guy mixed vodka with her formula. It's so sick. All I can think of is he probably, the baby was probably crying. He was probably trying to make her sleep. Or, you know, they'll give it the old teething route, how back in the day when Grandma would dip your uh, your teething thing in, in a little bit of whiskey, you know. None of that makes any sense, though, because do you realize how much alcohol this baby had to drink to have a .11 blood alcohol content? It's a bunch. You know what, Dave Mack, Clear Channel WAAX, you're absolutely right. Joining me right now, I'm hearing in my ear a special guest, the District Attorney in DeKalb County, the elected DA, Robert James, is with us. Robert, thank you for being with us. Uh, I'm just sick about this. And to hear the family is now saying it was an accident. You know what, Robert? When I make bottles, there's no accident. I put organic apple, organic prune, organic milk steamed and a little bit of carnation vanilla instant breakfast just to cap it off and it's got to be served a certain way don't tell me robert james that it was an accident that's the best they've got robert well that's what um apparently that's what we're hearing at this point um i've heard it through media uh, the reality is that you know this was a terrible terrible incident and um because vodka was put in this child's bottle, a four-month-old, uh, this child is now dead, no longer with us, and um, we're at a point where we're just pursuing justice for this infant little girl. You know what I like about your charge, and I've got it right here in my hand, CR 3719, is that you charged with felony murder. A lot of people would have just charged this with voluntary manslaughter because, you know, Robert, you've tried a lot of cases. For some reason, when children are the victims, somehow they get pled down to voluntary or involuntary manslaughter. You charged with felony murder and cruelty to children second degree. Felony murder is simply during a felony, a death occurs, and you can get the same sentence at trial as malice murder. What's your underlying felony? I'm interested, Robert James. It is cruelty to children in the second degree, um, mm -hmm. which, as you're aware, Nancy, um, was a change to our law not too long ago in Georgia that allows us to charge an individual uh, when they engage in an act that is, um, you know, criminally negligent um, as, opposed to a, as opposed to an act that is purposeful. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you know, we have our belief about how this happened, uh, but the way we charged it, um, covers it being done on hey, Robert, or Franklin. how did the yes. dad behave when the little girl was pronounced dead? Well, um, you know, at, at this point, you know, we could try not to get too deep into the facts at this point because I understand. Strange. I only uh, have but, one you know, more question for you, Robert James, the district attorney to Gab County. Can I volunteer for jury duty?